Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be seeing about Android Studio. What is an Android Studio? How to install an Android Studio? Android Studio is an ID. ID stands for Integrated Development Environment. Using this software, we can develop our Android application. There are some integrated tools available in this application. Using those tools, we can develop our application debug the application as well as we can run the application. It is an official tool for Android app development. We can download this software for our Windows operating system, Linux operating system as well as for our Mac operating system. Let's start the installation of Android Studio in our Windows operating system. First we have to select our browser. In our browser, we have to search for Android Studio. We will be getting these links. In that, we have to select download options. We'll get this download page. As we can see the download option over here. On selecting this button, we will be getting an Android Studio EXE file. If you know your operating system as well as bit of your operating system, you can also select this option which is below over here. You can download for Windows, Mac as well as for Linux operating system. But we will go with the first option. On clicking download Android Studio button, we will be getting these terms and conditions. I have read these terms and conditions. I want you to read this. You select checkbox and we have to select download button. So it will start our Android Studio downloading. In order to run the Android Studio smoothly, we have to go with this minimum system configuration for windows max mac linux and chrome os it is mentioned over here for windows we have to go with 64 bit machine and for, um, and windows 8 or 10 uh, six, uh, this architecture we have to follow there has to be a 8 gb ram 8 gb space in a hard disk where we will be storing our installation file and we have to go with this minimum resolution. Same they have mentioned for Mac, Linux and for Chrome OS. As you can see, our Android Studio is getting downloaded exe file. So when we have choose the first option, it had already detected our operating system and bit of an operating system and downloaded the software accordingly. So there is no need of selection as we are getting in the uh, uh, option which is there at the end. We can directly run this exe file. We will go to the location. We will double click on it to start our installation process. We'll get this welcome screen. We have to select next. In this, we will be getting an option to download Android virtual device. Android virtual device is an emulator that will provide us a look and feel of a Android mobile that will help us in development. We'll click next. We have to select the location 
where we have to store our installation files. If you want, you can choose another location in a D drive or so. For now, I am selecting this default location only and clicking next button. Now I'll click next install to start with the installation. If you want to see the details, we have to click on this show details button. We can see the installation files are getting downloaded as well as it is getting installed in our system. Okay. After installation, our next button will be enabled. We have to click on it. So now our Android Studio installation is completed. Now we have to set up our Android Studio. It will open the Android Studio. So we will get two options over here. Configure and Android Studio. First, uh, if you want to start with the French installation, you can select the second option. If you are uh, installing the Android Studio for the second time, uh, suppose that you have installed the Android Studio and due to some reason you have uninstalled it and now you are installing again. So you can download the previous configuration from files on the first option. For that, you have to browse and select the files. But if you are doing the fresh installation, you can directly say do not import and you can go with the second option. Now we are doing the fresh installation, so we will go with the second option. So it is the latest version that we are installing. It will show that we can develop Android application for Android mobiles, watches, for televisions and for cars display. So we will be selecting next button over here. Okay, we can go with the standard installation as well as if you want a custom installation, you can also go for custom installation. Uh, we can choose the themes that we want. We can choose light theme also or we can choose a Dracula dark theme. We'll say next. Then uh, we have to install the components for our Android Studio like SDK, JDK that will require for running our application and for building an application. SDK is a software development kit using that we can develop our application. So we'll click next and it will show us the location where the components will be getting stored after installation. We'll click next okay so we have to select the license agreement for all three things which are mentioned over here we have to click on this agree accept after that we'll get a finish button we'll click on it so the downloading of the components will start so if you want to see details you will click on show detail button it will take some time to download and to install
okay we'll get the next button okay so now our android installation is been done and the setup is been done so if you want to check whether it is been done properly we have to create a new project so over here different activities are there so we can select for phone and tablets then for variables then uh, android tv and for automotive it's, it is for car display so for now we will be selecting phone and tablet and we will be selecting empty activity we will be seeing each and every activity details in our next video so now we will be selecting empty activity and we will say next so we have to give application name over here give the location where we want to store our android project that we are creating right now select the language it is showing that there has to be there should not be a white space in the location what we will do we will create one folder name android okay we will be selecting that folder where our project will be stored we will click on finish button so now we can see that It has started with gradle building as it is for the first time it will take some time to get the things downloaded and to start with the application building so we have to wait So it is taking time so what we will do we will come back when all the files have been downloaded so now we can see that project is set up for development we can see this design view and coding view of a project so thank you friends for watching this video stay connected with us